think you think like this is coming out. How you doing today? Welcome to another episode of Slower Than Dicks Engine Removal with Bilsif. I've been tinkering, just like tinkering like a mother. I got the truck finally up in the air a little bit. Enough that maybe I can remove some stuff from in here. And then we need a transmission bolt and this and that and some starters. But what I want to do is I want to get the headers right out of my way so I can remove the starter easy and stuff like that. So I'm glad you're here for this because it's going to be kind of fun. What size is that? That fits nice. Of course it's 916 because I brought metric with me. Why wouldn't it be? Oh yeah. I'm going to have to get up to get standards. You know that? Oh, maybe not. We might be okay. Let's see if we can't break one. Oh. See if we can't break one or two. Well, that ain't gonna work. I'm gonna get in the hand on this one. Get some Torque Master 5000s on her. So we're gonna get the headers out of the way tonight. We're not gonna do much, cause like I said, it's a work night. I don't wanna get too carried away, I don't. But I'm hoping these just break off. There we go. That's what I wanted. They break off, you just throw new ones in. If you know what I'm saying. So that's one. Okay, one. We're gonna write one. The problem is, will it come out of my socket now? Probably not. Oh, it did come out of my socket. Well, I'll be friggin' dip. Oh, yeah, that's tight. Oh, fuck yeah. I kinda like it tight, do you do? Oh, yeah, there we go. Put another one off. Perfect. Best thing to do is break them off. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh dear, hey, oh dear. Remind me to paint these headers before we stick them back in with some high heat paint. Or I should get them high heat power coated maybe? What do you think? Leave a comment down below, why wouldn't you? Next. I'm glad this engine's coming out boys because she has got one hell of a leak under here. She is pissing oil everywhere. I might have blew her up. I did do a burnout with the old truck of whiskey that I never took that long with, it, with me. And it should have. I feel bad about that, kind of. Maybe a little bit. Not much, though. Just a little. Rip locked in, then we can just snap her off. I know you want to. Something's happening. Oh, don't tell me this one's coming out. <laughs> Always the one that's an inchworm will actually come off instead of breaking. Well, I'm glad I'm changing that because the gasket's falling out in pieces. So she was no good anyway. Come on. Why do you gotta be such a dink? Frick. Frick's sakes, boys. There we go. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Oh, yeah, it broke. Friggin' right. Oh. Frick. Oh, yeah. Look at that! How often they fall right out like that? Never. Friggin' right, never. Holy cow. Did I ever get lucky? So let's get this out of my way. Remember, always clean up as you go. That way you don't have a mess. Ow! Ooh, they still look pretty good too. The headers aren't cocked over yet. Just about, but not quite. Oh, watch out. Have an eye. So now what we'll do is we'll drop the starter down, and that's just a couple bolts too. That's not too bad. But I'm just gonna get up and get a different size, I think. I'm pretty sure these ones are standard. Well, no, they aren't, they're metric. Well, I'll be friggin' dipped. Again, there's a whole bunch of dipping going on around here. Holy, that's even the right size. Holy boys, girls, peoples. This might be okay. What's that for? Where is that going? Where is that going? There's some lines coming up here. Oh, they're fuel lines. Nice! Great of fuel lines in this thing. Friggin' right! What do I want? Oh yeah, an extension. Sorry about that. It kind of dazed out there for a few minutes I did. There's what we need. Right friggin' there. Look at that. So now what we're doing is we're up here. Here, let me get you on the right angle to dangle. Oh. Look at the oil leak in there, boys. Look at it. Holy. So now we're up here with this starter. And hopefully you can see it. We gotta take that down now. And we're gonna try to get away with some power tools this time. Cause that's what I do. Get on there. Oh, 
Ooh. Ooh, no, nope, we gotta break it loose with the hand bomber first. What's really going on, Snap on? Thing's a piece of shit, it's got no power at all. Should have bought a Makita. Is it Makita? Milwaukee. Oh, that is tight though. I understand why it didn't take that off. Frig, that's impact gun material. That's been on since 84, 87. What year is this thing? Yeah, that year. Something like that. At 49 years old, I never thought I'd be changing an engine again in my life, but look at me now. One. Oh yeah, let's drop this thing on our face. Oh boy. Two. Kinda. Maybe. Oh, there it goes. Hold on. Something's gonna happen. We're gonna either break something or hit something. Uh oh. 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 Here it comes. Oh, what are we stuck on? Oh, come on. The wires aren't that short. Oh, fuck, they are. What is this? What is that? Why is that there? How come that's holding that that? Why is, why is that? What is going on here? This thing actually has a wire that goes to the front of the block through the doodad and whatnot. We probably should have took that off first. That's all I'm trying to say. We might have to go to the other side to see what's going on here. I can't see nothing. I can't go that way. Frig. Have you ever got to the point where you realize that you need a bigger garage, but you just don't have it? So you gotta let's work with what you got. I'm right there right now. Okay, Frig, I might be able to get to that. Can you see that? Here, come over here now. Now you see where I am, see? I can get to that now. Maybe, if I get the right size. No, next. There it is right there. Ratchet, in. Holy, look at that. Something happened. Oh, might need that. Where'd it go? There it is. Let's take that off, because that's what's holding it. Maybe. Break. How come that's like that? Okay, so that's off, and that's off. There we go. Oh, that starts just about had it, boys. She's all loosey-goosey. Now we got one more, way back in here. And holy shit, that's it. First try, first try again. Man, oh man, let me tell you what. We're actually getting somewhere here today. Get on there. Oh, come on. Whoa! Frig! That's good for the wire. What the hell? What is going on here, Jim? That's a strong wire right there, boys. Just saying. Frig, need extension. Just so you know, never do that with your starter wire because it's pretty hard on it. I'd have to say. Pretty sure I'm not. Pretty sure. Oh, I think I might have got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I stretched the dicks out of that wire. This is probably cocked right over. Look at that. Look how dirty that thing is. Hey, better gasket. Where'd you come from? Did you see that? That's pretty good. Oh fuck, look at the oil filter in this thing. It's dead. Look at it. Just pissing out oil. Maybe that's where it's coming from. Maybe I didn't tighten that up enough. Oh, you know what? While I'm right here, we might as well take off the old uh the shifter point linkage here. Fuck, I'm right here. I might as well, eh? This should come off pretty easy too. Well, maybe not. That's been on there a while. Here, let's unplug it. There's a plug right here as well. What's that? Where's that go? Oh, that's a friggin' speedo cable. We're gonna need that off there too, aren't we? Holy, how's this come out? I don't remember. Boys, anybody, the only anybody that wants a 400 transmission, I got one right here. Here it is. As you can see, that's a 400. For anybody that knows anything, I don't know nothing, but if you know, that's what it is. Get them over there, and we're gonna have to go get, get suppliers, suppliers, and maybe some pliers. Then we should be good. We could probably unbolt the training mount while we're up here. Down here. In here. Where we are there. I'm running out of angles here. This thing's too tall it is. So I'm up here right now on the training mount. And I'm going to do that while I'm laying right here. Because that's what I do. Get my sockets closer to me. Where's my ratchet? I don't know what I do with my hand ratchet. Probably going to need that because I don't have it handy. Nope, too small. Oh, wouldn't it be? Hey, next! Oh, there it is. Freaking right it is. Let's see if we got any balls today. Oh! 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 
Thing to work, boys. It's showing red on the. It's showing red on the indicator. That might mean it's probably half dead. So there you go. There's the training mount. One of them off. We still got to remove the other one. That way it will slide out easier. We're gonna do the speedo cable, which should be just by the wrench. So we need a socket, socket, socket. We should take off this exhaust. Training lines can come out with the engine, and then we can transfer them over after. Right? Transfer training cables after? Let me know down below. By looks of this tail stock, I hope to God the 7R4 fits right in. Because this looks like a long tail stock on this 400. Which would be mint. Friggin' right it'd be mint. Okay, what do I need? Oh yeah, I'll be right back. Maybe. If I can get out. I'm just about wore out for the night. Oh, look at that exhaust, that's nice. I love that crossover pipe. I'll show you that later. You'll like that one. She's pretty mint. Where was I? Oh yeah. Frig. What's that? That looks like Bondo. They put the paint on that much? Maybe. Oh, this is a short tail stock. So you know what? That might work out good. What do I need? Oh yeah. I need that. I probably need this. Ah. I need one of them. I might need that. I know I'm going to forget something. 960 or something like that. Okay, here I come. I know damn well I forgot something. And you'll know that when I get under here too, because I'll be like, great. Okay, so what we're gonna need first, let's do the pin first, maybe. Okay, where are we here? Bear with me. I'm trying to give you every angle of the dangle possible here. That's so much I care about you. Okay, on the opposite side of it. So what we need to do is we need to take out this pin right here, which holds the shifter linkage. And it looks pretty rotten, it does. I'm just gonna go out there and see that. Hold on, I might have to go this way. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm not. Did that work? No, nope, didn't move. Oh, just so you know, while I'm on here, if any is there from Fort Myers or out that way, my wishes go out to you, by the way. That's horrible. That hurricane just trashed it down there. Frig, I feel bad for you guys. If I could uh, do something for you, I would. But I'm kind of not really in the... Uh, area to do anything for you unfortunately if you know what i mean okay hold on oh there we go okay so that's off we'll put the pin back in so we don't lose it there we go now if that can come out of there like that then we can hang that out of the way perfect we did exactly what i wanted to do so we're good that way so what we want to do is we want to take off this thing i'm not too sure how that comes off to be honest with you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab a pair of pliers and just yank on this son of a bitch because that's what i do I just hope I don't break it. No, it doesn't feel like it does that. Maybe. Hold on. No. All right. Not sure how that comes off, to be honest with you. It does turn an awful lot. <sighs> I don't think it's threaded on. So we're going to have to take a look at that because it's been too long since I've done that. And I don't have no idea what's going on there. So we'll take a look at that while we're down here. But we'll get this friggin' speedometer cable off over here. A little speedometer action. This thing's a mess under here. I can't wait to clean it all up. I get oil everywhere, Jim. All right, here we go. Ready? Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Okay, wrong way. There we go. Well, that's turning. That's a good sign. It's full of grease, so I'm not going to be able to do it manual. Oh, yeah, we did. All right. So there's the speedometer cables off, which is awesome. The armor cable don't look too healthy. No, well, it's not bad. So I'll throw that up here somewhere in here, around there, or somewhere on the way. There we go. So that's off. So now, and now I'm gonna try to get this training mount off. Just the bolts off anyways, that way when I jack it up, that will come out and will give me lots of room to slide her out because I don't need to take the cross member off on this truck. Well, I'm not saying I don't have to, but I never took a cross member out in a pickup truck to get the transmission out. Well, that doesn't fit. No. What's this? Five eighths? Fuck, we're metric. Son of a dick. Of course it's metric. And I don't have that size. Oh, God. I still want to know how this comes out. There must be some kind of pin on that or something. Leave your comments down below if you know how that wire comes out. Because I'm not too sure. There must be a bolt here or something. I'm not feeling. There's a whole bunch of shit in there, I'll tell you that. No, there's no bolt in there. What the 
F. Captain? Strange. I'll have to look into that and see what the hell, how that, the hell them things friggin' hell's in there. Okay, where am I? Rag. Arms. Neck. Fuck. Oh! Falling. Ah, what did I come up here for? I always come up and I forget what I'm coming up for. Oh, we need a uh, metric. Where's all my metric friggin' snap on wrenches? Must be under the hood. No, they're not. Oh, what the hell are you with them? What's this one? Well, there's one of them. That's a masturbator. Ah. Oh, here they are. They're over here for some reason. So we gotta get a 14 and a 15 and hope for the best. That's what I need. Okay, here it comes. So we're up here now. Okay, so we're up here now. And we're gonna take these bolts out right here. Am I close? Oh man, that's it. Oh yeah, that come off easy. So there's one. So we get that one off. So as you know, this is a transmission mount. And there's one that goes through the cross member and two that go to the transmission. So once you get them off, she's pretty much bent, if you know what I'm saying. How long is this bolt, honest to God? I can't get my hand, oh, I can get my hand through the body of the frame. Oh, Lee, how you doing? Dude, I don't know if you can see this or not. Look where my hand is. Oh, it's mint. Just stuck right in there, we did. Can you still see? Things are happening. Two finger in it. Longer than hell. Okay, next. Oh, there it is. So now we're back here. We're gonna have to take off the damn hanger bearing, I'm noticing, because there's no way to get the damn thing off. Hanger bearing off. Oh yeah. There's one. This hanger bearing might not ever be going back on again. I don't know yet. There's two. Actually, I can pull that probably right out of the transmission now, can't I? Oh no, I'm wedged right up now. That's great. Should have probably took the U-joint off first. That's what I'm saying. Well, now we gotta go back there, boys. We're just going back, 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 and back more. Oh, brother. So now the hanger bearing's out, we gotta go back here and take out the drive shaft. For that, we're gonna need another size. What do you think, 7 16 or half inch? Do you have a comment down below? Probably magic. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, here you come. It is metric. We're only gonna read no standard, so that's what it's gonna have to be. There we go. Gonna try to get up here for number Ah, oh, man. Three. Careful. It's the only problem when you lower your truck, you can't just crawl under it like you would a normal truck. You gotta jack the fucking thing up. Whose idea was it to lower anything? God, dummy. Oh well, whatever. Another one. The nice thing about this is I just had this off not too long ago, so they're coming out pretty good. Just gotta take it easy with my shoulder. I hurt my shoulder at work again. Because, you know, I'm old. That kind of stuff happens. It does. All right, so that's off. So now I should be able to... There it goes. Just like that, Jimmy, you missed it because I dropped you. Sorry about that, that was your head. Pretty good. So there you go, it's off. Now we just gotta get her yoke V for there. Slide her out. And uh, that part's done. Hey, there's my socket. All right, so this is why I got this from Steve for the transmission. So we slide this yoke out. Oh shit, we don't lose too much fluid, just a ton. There we go. Hey, eh? that's not bad. Just lost a little bit, not too bad. Of course my cardboard isn't here. Why would my cardboard be here? Oh, what the hell? But that's okay, that's out. Now I'm gonna have to lay in that tranny fluid to undo the other header bolt. Why wouldn't I? Guess I should have had that ready, eh? Oh well, that happens. It really does. Hey, just so you know, Sean was over on the weekend. Hi, Sean. Thanks for helping me, bud. He helped me take the hood off the truck. We put it downstairs. So that was all right. Okay, where were we? Under the truck. What are we doing? Oh yeah. You can actually watch from here, probably. Hold on, I gotta find all my tools I lost. So I don't need that. I don't need that. I'll need this. I'll probably need that. I might not need this, but I could need that. All right, let's go. Almost get right into the junk. Fat guy rolls. Ooh, hey. Ooh. Oh, look at that. First try. Come here. 
You dirty bastard, yeah. I got training fuel right inside the friggin' dude on this. A little lubrication. Never kills anybody. Holy shit, I got that in the first try too. What is really going on here today? Things are looking up. There you go. Yeah, we are. Gonna go all the way up. And then she'll break. That's what I want. I love when everything comes together. Okay, next. Same thing. Let's break her off, Captain. Oh, that one I can't really get on. Oh, that one stripped all the dicks. Oh, this might not be good. This one is. We might be in trouble with this one. Oh, yeah. Just what I wanted. Uh oh. Got no two sensor here. We got to take off and figure out. Oh, no. Oh, it's melted. That's not good, Captain. Okay. That might be why she was running a little friggin' rich. No G sensor's melted. What's that? What is that? That's something that shouldn't be there. Well, it should be there, but that's something that I don't want there. I'm glad we're taking the header out. Let's not worry about that until the header's out. <laughs> Here I am trying to reach it. And once the header's out, I can reach her no problem. Okay, O2 sensor. How easy are you gonna come out? Probably not. At all. All right, so we're gonna have to find the, well, that's a plug right there. How does that come off? I can't see from here. Oh, there we go. That was easy. There you go. The O2 sensor is unplugged. Or I'll be dipped. Nobody answered me on the O2 sensor from the last video either, by the way. A little disappointed in you. And I just asked you one simple question. Can you run two O2 sensors? Nobody even answered me. Kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. So if you remember tonight, figure that out for me. Ow. What is cutting my arm? You're a fender well. Fuck that sharp. Digging right into me, cat. Careful. Watch your fingers. Come on, just break, would you? Oh yeah, this one's not gonna break. It's just gonna turn instead. Break some place. Hey, there we go. And then we can pull on it instead of push. Pull, 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 pull. Against training. Pull. Oh yeah. That's not good. We slipped off. Pull. <laughs> Uh, I don't think this had a roll up through here though. I just broke off one of my brand new spark plugs. Shocks. Holy shit boys, we're doing good here. This is coming along really good. Let's go up top and see if we can't pull a header out. And then all I got left is the plug in the side of the transmission. That's it! Oh, a heater hose. Wow. That's pretty, pretty decent. All right, let's get out of here. Careful! Ow! <laughs> Fucking inner fender well. She's chewing me up. She just won't eat me. Why are you doing that? Why are you gonna be like that? How come this keeps getting in my way too? What the fuck is your problem? Get the fuck out of my way. Damn ya. Hey, there you go. Stay there. Okay, so, head her out. Up, in, over. Uh, Mr. Header, please come out. I'm not asking for much. Just asking if you'll come out. Ready? No. Oh. Uh oh. 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 Spark plug. Uh oh. Oh, it's going down. It doesn't want to come out this way. Oh man. That gave me gas. Oh, sorry about that. Apologize. That's what happens when you're fat. If you work too hard, you get farting. It's one way to clean out your insides. Hey, just do a little workout. Fix yourself right up. Okay, let's see if we can't get this out. Ready? Follow me, hold your tongue. Okay, we're gonna go that way, then this way, and then that way, and then this way, and then there you go. Holy shit. We got it. So now we can unplug this one, which I'm not sure how it plugs in either. But we're gonna figure it out right now. How does that unplug? I can get all these fancy plugs that I don't know how they work. Okay, that's part of that. Oh, is that does it, what happened? How does that, what? How does that even work? I should take out an engine mount on down here too. Anyways, let's not worry about that right now. Yeah, it feels like it's just a pull off. Oh yeah, there you go, it's off. That would be the oil pressure sending unit is what that is. So that's off. So now all we got is transmission line cable thing. It turns no problem. Oh, you know what? I bet it's pinned. Oh yeah, there's a pin on it. 
that's what it is. Yep, there's a horseshoe clip on there. Ah. Oh yeah, I feel it. Can't get that off right now, I can't. Anyways, all we got left is a heater hose, this clip, and the engine mount bolts, and we'll be able to pull this out. So, I'm gonna call her a day. I wanted to work on this for an hour or so after I got home from work, and then I'm gonna go eat dinner. So, hopefully you enjoyed it. Stick around, because the next one, we'll probably be yanking her. <laughs>